We end tonight on the Brooklyn Bridge. 7,000 people visit the bridge each day. Many are couples who've started using the Brooklyn Bridge as a way to express their love for each other. Though it turns out all this love is creating a few issues for the city. Newlyweds Matthew Latcham from England and Amanda Suarez were looking for a small symbol of their big day. This lock and the Brooklyn Bridge did the trick. The bridge itself is quite a good symbol for our love and clipping a, a heart-shaped lock to the bridge. Kind of, it just shows sort of the strong bond, really. Their lock is not alone. Hundreds of padlocks crowd the bridge's fences and steel cables, left by couples to symbolize the strength of their bonds. Love locks first started to appear in Europe more than a decade ago. Tens of thousands of locks now hang from bridges in Paris, and not everyone is a fan of the city of love becoming the city of locks. I think it's stupid. Uh, uh, Paris is a very beautiful city, but it's not necessary to put all this, uh, this thing. Sections of the famed Pont des Arts actually had to be replaced last summer. Weakened, if not by all the love, by all the locks. Tourists are now being asked to send e-love locks instead. Now that visitors have brought the tradition to New York City, officials are faced with a costly problem. In Europe, the locks were attached to footbridges. In New York, that's not the case. The city's Department of Transportation says it has cut 5,600 locks from the Brooklyn Bridge since last summer, worried they could fall below onto vehicles. Kayla O'Day understands bridges. the concerns. My, my, if it really is damaging the bridge, then I would want to preserve the bridge. I guess people should find another way to lock in their love. But Latcham and Suarez are both content to have a piece of their love live on this bridge and resign that it won't last forever. Their lock, not their love.